Just one thing you got to think about if you're going to try some minis. Um, you know, compared to a full-size hive, they've only got a tiny workforce, really. You know, a big hive has got thousands of workers and and they can fly a long way. Whereas I reckon a little hive like this, you know, there might only be a couple of hundred foragers. I think they're a bit restricted in how far they can fly. So I've just been feeding these just to help them out. I don't expect them to, you know, we have got a little bit of blue gum flowering here. And there's something here, this is some kind of, you know, native bush here in the scrub that's flowering, but it's really slim pickings here really at the moment. The bees are on this stuff, whatever it is. You know, we've just had that rain. That's actually a native bee there. Looks like. It's not a honeybee anyway. Something else. Just had that three inches of rain or something, so this is flowering now. But anyway, we'll just have a look at one of these. See what they're like. This should be one. Yeah, it's got a decent little bit of weight to it. Should be one that I've put a queen cell in recently. I think I did go through and take those queen cells out actually. So I won't be able to tell from that. But So I fed these last Friday. This one's still got feed. See what's going on in here. See that's uh, as light as a feather. There is eggs in there. Eggs and open brood. There's a queen there. Italian queen, this one, this round was. She looks all right. Yeah, she's laying away, but I mean, seriously, they're pretty light for stores in here. Just a little bit of nectar and there's the queen there, she jumped on this frame. A little bit of nectar and pollen there. But no honey, no capped honey sort of thing. So it's just what I'm providing for them. We'll just top this up a little bit. So this is just like one to one sugar water and just a dash of hive alive. I just sort of use that as a preservative so it doesn't go mouldy or go off sort of thing. I'll just have a quick look at a couple of others. This one's got a bit more weight to it. Hopefully it looks a bit better inside. You know, I can see some capped stores there. So yeah, this was fed not three days ago, I suppose, so I've still got feed there. A little bit of capped brood. Uh, now we've got an emergency queen cell there. So they... What does that mean? They rejected their... Well, the virgin out of the queen cell didn't make it. That's a good frame of stores for them there. You know, I don't like raising emergency queens in these, but 
it just keeps them going as in if they're no queen hopelessly queenless will they just drift away and then you've lost it whereas I just did some grafting today hopefully this one just holds on there's a new little fuzzy bee there so hopefully this one just holds on until I have some grafted cells ready So this one to me felt pretty light coming up. Yeah, and it hasn't got a feeder in it, so I haven't been feeding this one. So we'll see what they look like with no supplementary feed. There's a queen there. What have we got? Open brood all the way up to capped brood there she is there bit of a small little thing but there is a little bit of honey up the top there that they've obviously been gathering themselves but yeah I was meant to bring feeders out today and put feeders in these ones that don't have them because a bit of a struggle for them. It's hardly anything in there. Anyway, hopefully they hang on until I come back next time. Yeah, pretty tough conditions for these little nukes now. It's not like in the springtime and there's nectar everywhere. We've got to fly a bit further and work a bit harder for it, so it makes it hard for them. This one again was had a bit better weight to it. Yeah, I've been feeding this one. I'm going to have to get feeders in all of these. All these minis now. Otherwise they're just going to struggle. There's the queen there, little Italian type. Just recently mated. Yeah, she's just started laying there. Hmm. Not the best looking queen I've ever seen, but might be all right well that's all stores in that frame it's quite heavy there's a little emergency cell emerged there and that's all they've got so yeah she's just started laying on that one frame This one's got a better population in it. Look, there's the queen up the top. What's she doing there? Not laying eggs. Probably looking for somewhere to lay. tangled up a bit. See if I can get the feeder out.
yeah, merging brood there and nice little lot of eggs. There's our queen there. She's a busy thing walking around there. Handy looking queen, bit, bit better sized than some of them. But I think it's related to the population. There's a bit of pollen there, which is good to see. Emerging brood. A nice big queen there. She's lovely. Ready to go in a full size hive, I'd say. Just trying to put it back together without squashing her now. Yeah, obviously a better population in this one. So yeah, it gives them a better workforce to go out and forage and do all those sort of things. I'd rather if they all looked like this. I think this is another stronger one. Yeah, it's got six frames in it, this one. No feeder, so we'll see how they're off for stores. Yeah, there's not a huge amount of bees in here though. And see, a plastic queen cell cup, so I'll check that. So that's how they leave that notch out of the front comb for that entrance, the round entrance. There's our queen cell that I put in there last time. It's been chewed down so I can't tell can't tell what happened with it. It's a good bit of pollen in that frame. Yeah, I can see eggs in this frame. I might just go in the sun and see if, see if we can see them. You see the eggs there? They must have a, a new laying queen in this one. is what we want to see. But yeah, really not much honey in here. And they've got they've got a good workforce so there's obviously just not a lot of nectar available. I think next time I'm out of here I'll 
bring all the feeders out and put feeders in each one of these. Because yeah, they haven't got much of a buffer before they could starve. Right, this one hasn't got a feeder, but it has got, I can see a little bit of capped honey, so that's a good sign. There's a few bees in the back there. Looks all right for the population. Hopefully they've got a laying queen. Do you look at that? Ooh, honey. Quite heavy. Well, that's one of those black plastic foundation ones. So yeah, I'm just checking through these today. I just did some grafting a minute ago and hopefully these all hang on until until the grafted cells are ready. No brood here, which is a bit of a worry. They could be queenless. Yeah, it's just all honey, this, this one. Could be queenless. I might just swap a frame with another one. Put some brood in here. So I found a nice little frame of brood, open brood, eggs, capped brood, and a bit of pollen, so so that'll just keep these bees interested until I've got some queen cells, because I think these are queenless. So thanks for watching, any questions just write it down below and see you again next time.